Ah, a hunter lives here. A careless one. How's that? We found its home. Hmm. I think this is where the untamed fury lays her head. Maybe we should wait here. Ambush her. She will not return while we remain. She is too smart. <laughs> if we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that here dragon's lair. Yes. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. I have to get past those vines somehow. The way is clear. Brothers, how did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light Father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just... Fenrir into Garm. Oh, oh, oh. Clever one, lad. A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. Bloody brilliant. It's calling more wind. <laughs> arrows, brother. Arrows. <laughs> Three legendary weapons. Do you have a favorite, Father? No. They are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. I like the ass. Another painful growth removed from these lands, eh? 
You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mob. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. And we'll just stop there for now. If we go much further, we'll be right on top of the ogre. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah, I got that! <laughs> That was ours, you opportunistic sod. It went back to its perch. Let's go after it. <laughs> you can be with your son now. Thank you. I can't wait to see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? Yes, I remember now. On the day the valley was destroyed, Thor was swinging his hammer wildly through town. Everyone was terrified. Then a fair-haired warrior stepped in his path and a fight began. She was a brave woman. This fair-haired warrior must have been Faye, brother. Yeah, Mom stood up to Thor. I'm not sure if Faye had bravery or bravado. Not many look to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. Faye never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Faye. Aye, there is only one way to find out, brother. Amir, did you know Garm? Why was he locked up to begin with? Ah, hell's feral sentinel. Well, believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Garn, then just a wee pup, got peckish. 
He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And a word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Lovely. <laughs> now you can open that gate without that ogre hurling detritus at us. So, Mimir, how did they capture Garmin in the first place? That was Tyr's doing. He lured the beast from where safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tyr's arm clean off in retribution. But Tyr's not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. So I got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimblewinter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it, the more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see, does it even matter? Pass open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood? Yes, father. Come on! Elka! Here it comes! Find you! Fucking heat! Alka! Incoming behind you, brother! Help them! 
That ogre's not getting up anytime soon, either. I can hear the animals. They're relieved. Maybe they'll come out of hiding. And with that, we've now taken down about half the dragons in this crater as well. Huh. I can hear the birds. They're rooting for us. That's nice. <laughs> Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, it was great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day, and she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. They didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Lad, I've been trying to envision how Thor and Sif came to be such better parents to Thrude than they were to Magni and Modi. Here's how I imagine it. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Come here. What's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find. Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Stan. Can we go already? That's all of them. Congratulations. You saved the Nine Realms from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved my ass, too. Though it was really better this is false. That was not our aim. I'll take... ...what I can get. A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoskar when we've got the time. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Drake fed here. Creatures here aren't that big. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here. <laughs> Some sort of cage. So it would seem. My drop, Drake. I met someone I liked. How would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I. no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Get back! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
You can yell at me, if you want, for leaving. And what would that accomplish? I make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough <clears throat> to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine. She's wounded. We can end this. Come to her. On the run again. Think the blood will lead us to her den? Yes. Follow the blood. <laughs> Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. We'll just pick this up later. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I wish we didn't have to kill her. Another cue. It's a sign we're on the right trail. We're getting close. I remember last time it looked just like a pile of rocks at first. Steal yourselves. Now, life in this valley can flourish again. I'm sure Anvari would be happy we killed another one at least. Anvari? The dwarf who put his soul into a ring. That's right. He created the Soul Eaters. Whatever happened to the annoying bugger anyway? I lent him to Sindri and said... Eyes open!
So, lad, uh, is Throod who you meant when you asked about Viking? Throod? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, Skilder likes Throod. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused. No? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we discussed. <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine. That's an interesting smell. Spit. Pardon? The saliva of a predator. And it glows. Atreus? We should follow the glowing spit. Find the Drekki. Good. Well, kind of obvious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mimir, I'm not sure to ask this. There's stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye, where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lad. They lie. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. Be careful, brother. We go down there and we're asking for a fight. That Drekki won't take kindly to us just passing through. Ready. We fought Valkyrie. How bad could another Drekki be? <laughs> they feel more at ease as they're dying. Kind of creepy.
Found something else for the cleansing pond, eh? We're overdue for a visit to the cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? Mimir, when I was in Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjar. He seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if, with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. miss the nice dragons from Midgard. Huh. There can't be many more dragons left now. Then what are we waiting for? I live to drink another day. Well, in Folkvanger at least. Now I can meet my friend and make amends. You owe us a story first. A battle. Unlike anything I've ever seen. I remember a great clash of metal in the sunlight. Thor, he wielded his hammer, but it was matched by a remarkable axe. This axe? Did it belong to a fair-haired warrior? Yes! That's the one! She brandished that axe with exact and precision, strength. Never has there been a weapon to match Mjolnir. But with that axe, and that warrior, Thor was in for the fight of his life. It was Fey who fought Thor in this valley. It was more than just a fight. It sounds like Mom was beating Thor. It seems there is much I never knew about her. And now she is gone. Maybe. But her story here isn't finished. <laughs> Hey, Mimir, do you have 
you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah. Is he, like, charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No. Just a weird bloke. Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Let this wait. Stay alert. More drops are falling out of the bloody ground. <laughs> Funky Lee! the gods for the death of her family and has been haphazardly wreaking a vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. 
with just a few details structured ever so misleadingly. They convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or, or magical. magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. That's enough for the time being. Mimir, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with... Viscera. Oh. There was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. Let Behind you! Incoming! That's the last of the Seder, I believe. Good. Maybe they'll be at peace now. If there are more, we will be ready. Anything interesting, brother? What? While Odin was giving me a tour, his ravens took us to Svartalfan, and I saw Derlin again. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. At least I think he was pretending. <laughs> Point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Derlin helping us find here. <laughs> Durlin again, too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. <laughs> Take the move! <laughs> Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. 
I didn't get a chance to say before. I liked your story about the Thane and the Heath witches. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Mimir, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. How's the shield holding up, lad? It's good. I always knew Sinji was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield, it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. Another gift for the pond. You've got plenty of those crystals. Should we visit the cleansing pool? Carving. Looks like Yari and Selmer were here too. Another ingredient around here, brother. Mimir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. But in all his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until he met another wanderer in search of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Somar. Let us find the final ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> More flowers. If I had to guess, star blush. <laughs> This battle that grave will provide. Ah! <laughs> 
see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give him the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Wow, Lemire. How do you know these spirits? What's the story here? No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. I think I need new socks. What has happened? They're wet. They will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. They will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Looks like we can land over there on that beach. Good find. Might justify a quick visit to the cleansing pool. You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool up there, a visit? Back. We will find a way up. Find you, watch out! Whoa. This way. Push forward. Now what?
Here is your hourglass. Thank you. Now I can leave for Volkvanga. A question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. Shattered glass, broken buildings. There was no home to be made here. Did you see what caused the destruction? A battle. Thor and this woman with red hair. They tore through the town. The rage between them was terrifying. Thor was enraged. I'm not surprised. No. The warrior. She was furious and fought like it. Thor was drunk. Sloppy. But she was drunk on something else. Rage. It was out of control. I saw her fury with every swing of her axe. That battle destroyed this land. These stories, I have known Fae's anger, but never to this extent. We hide the parts we're ashamed of, brother. Mm. Mom must have hated Thor for what he did to the giants. Maybe that's why she did what she did. She took part in the destruction of this valley. That would take a rage I thought her incapable of. Perhaps you and Faye had more in common than you thought. We both had secrets. But that kind of anger... I never saw Faye in that light. Even the brightest among us carry darkness, brother. Here. Prepare yourself. Incoming! Go for the throat! Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. 
Oh, 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 he's on the other one. Should have seen that coming. Dragon Slayer, you are. I've half a mind to write a poem about you. Do not. The animals. I can hear them. They said I was the last of the dragons. You did it. We did it. You sure did, huh? Brother, you don't like riddles, eh? No. Oh, you just haven't heard any good ones. Here. I'm tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. What A candle. Yeah. Heard that one before? No. Oh. Well, did you like it? No. Dug up some new blueprints for you. Lunda, people keep telling me Ragnarok is fated to happen. What do you think? You know, a lot of folk told me it was fate. I stopped smithing once I nearly lost my hand. So, nah. Fate can eat my sweet cheeks. I see why you and Brock get along. Oh, you don't see past the tip of your sniffer. Brother, I've been meaning to ask. Your homeland. I'd heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh, any chance you could recall some of that magic? No, I have tried. Freya said magic is bound to the earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. Ah, uh, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past and all that. Oh! 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 
wasting my breath over. His berserker champion's even less so. Trash. It's a lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. But finding that hilt changed things. Brother, somewhere out there there's a riddle you'd enjoy. And I'm going to find it. Do not. Once spoken, instantly broken. What am I? Silence. Correct! I was not answering the riddle. Ah. This crest is... Odin's. Apparently the Vanir thought to make a crest for him. Oh. Hospitable. Well, that's all the crests we're likely to find. You think Freya will be happy we found them all? It is Vanheim's people she longs for, not their symbols. Curious, brother. Why don't you like riddles? They are frivolous. They encourage lateral thinking. Listen, there are three doors before you. One contains a pit of spikes, one a dragon, and one a pair of lions that haven't been fed in weeks. Which door do you open? Hmm. The first. A pit of spikes is easily avoided. Ah, you should pick the third. Because lions that haven't been fed in weeks would be dead! Eh? Hmm. I like this riddle. I think there's another realm tear guard made over there. That's all. Yeah. 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 
Father, can we build a lyre together? The instrument. Why? We hunt, we train. Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No, it's stupid. Never mind. Birger. How are you feeling? Like I could sleep through Ragnarok. Funny you should say that. No. He has earned his rest. Yes. I think it may be time for this old warrior to finally lay down his sword and find a quiet place to retire. A quiet place, huh? Aren't you gonna miss Freyr and his crew? I will miss their companionship, yes. But this is no place to convalesce. Actually... I know somebody else out there who's alone and could use your help. Let's talk later. I would like that. Assassins sought you. They are dead now. Greetings to you as well, Kratos. To elaborate, it appears your former brothers, the Travelers, have branded you a heretic. They wish to find you, but they, well, found Kratos first. Thank you. And apologies. My decision should not have brought such violence down on you. Once I learned the Traveler's path was merely another of Odin's lies, I had hoped my brothers would join me in stepping off it. Apparently, they did not. Still, you're safe now. But safer, anyway. I am. And again, thank you. <laughs> 